Hello folks, Manito here, I hope you're doing good. In this video, I'll be showing you how to back up your Switch games with NX Dump Tool. What is NX Dump Tool? NX Dump Tool is a powerful Nintendo Switch dump tool <laughs> that backs up your physical and digital games to your micro SD card. You can even back up your games straight to your computer via USB cable. After backing up your games, you can then install those games on MUMMC, play them on Switch emulators like Ryujinx, and you can even use your physical Switch games with a MIG Switch flash cartridge. If you're interested in all of that, I'll have guides for each of those things in the description. NX Dump Tool can even dump the ROMFS of your games. This means you can dump assets from your games, such as textures, models, sounds, and more. This is great if you want to start making your own mods. Now here's a few disclaimers and things to take note of before jumping in. In this tutorial and in all of my other tutorials, I'll be using a Windows PC for the computer sections. You can still follow along if you're using another OS, such as Mac or Linux, but some steps may be different. Also, as I mentioned, in this video I'll be going over the setup of NX Dump Tool. I'll show you how to back up your games via USB and to your SD card as both XCI and NSP files. In a part 2 to this video, I'll be covering how to dump the ROMFS of your games. And as I just mentioned, this is useful if you're interested in making your own mods for games. Check the description for that part 2. Next, you'll need a modded switch running Atmosphere Custom Firmware. If you don't already have a modded switch, check out my noob friendly guide in the description. It goes over the basics of running Homebrew and setting up custom firmware. And that's all you'll need before setting up NX Dump Tool. Before we get started, make sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay notified of future videos, streams, and to support the channel. I noticed most of you that watch these videos are not subscribed, so please subscribe and help build up the channel even more. Thank you. I also have a growing community Discord server where you can join to talk with me and other members of the community, or if you need help with mod stuff, now, let's get started with downloading Lockpick RCM. Power off your switch. Enter RCM. And to connect to your computer, but don't inject a payload just yet. Open your browser and search up Lockpick RCM Download. Click here. Releases, Dexcots, Lockpick RCM. A few disclaimers before we continue. First, at the time of recording, this GitHub is where I'll be downloading Lockpick RCM from. However, Nintendo has been cracking down on Lockpick RCM, so if this GitHub is down when you're watching, you'll need to look elsewhere. Big thank you to Deck Scotts for keeping the keys updated. Second, as you can see here, there has been a new release for every major system update. 16.0, 17.0, and 18.0. At the time of recording, 18.0 is the latest, but that may not be the case by the time you watch this video. The latest update might be 19.0 or 20.0. If that is the case, make sure to download the latest version that supports the system version you are using. Alright, the latest release will be at the top. Click lockpickrcm.bin and it will download. Move it to your desktop or wherever works best for you. On Tegra RCM GUI, or your payload injector of choice, select lockpickrcm.bin. Now inject the payload. You'll see a few options here. We'll be selecting Dump from SysNand. Press power to select, and done. We have successfully dumped our prod.keys and title.keys files. As I mentioned earlier, whenever there's a major system update, you'll need to update to the latest lockpick RCM. You will then need to redump your keys files. Press volume up to save a screenshot, or you can press volume down or power. Now, press volume down until you're at reboot RCM, and press power to select. This will put the switch back into RCM. Now inject fuse.bin to launch Atmosphere custom firmware. Now connect to your switch SD card. I'll be using FTP, wireless file transferring. If you'd like to use this too, there's a guide in the description. Open your browser and search up NX Dump Tool. Click here, Releases Dark Matter Core NX Dump Tool. 
big shout out to Dark Matter Core and all those involved in making NX Dump Tool. As I mentioned earlier, NX Dump Tool is a Nintendo Switch dump tool <laughs> that lets us back up our physical and digital games. At the time of filming, this is currently in pre-release. By the time you watch this, it may be labeled as a full release. Make sure to always grab the latest release whenever you follow this. I also recommend to read through any additional info here on the patch notes, as there may be useful info. Download the latest release at the top. As I mentioned, it's currently in pre-release at the time of recording. Click Assets and download nxdt.nro. Now move the NRO to the Switch folder on the root of your SD card. There we go. Next, download nxdt-host.7-zip. This is a PC application to be used with NX Dump Tool when dumping games. You can back up your games directly to your PC. This may or may not get flagged as a virus by your antivirus, but it's safe to use. The version I'm downloading is for Windows. There is also an alternative Linux version by V1993. At the time of recording, there is no Mac version. But that's okay, if you're using Mac, you can manually move your game backups to your Mac after dumping them on your Switch. Now, make a new folder on your desktop or anywhere you want to move NX Dump Tool Host to. I'll name this folder nxdt-host. Drag the contents of the download to the folder. There we go. Last but not least, you'll need Zadig. This will allow us to install a USB driver and enable us to use NX Dump Tool Host. Search up Zadig USB and click here. Scroll down, download the latest version. You may get a warning about the program. That's okay. Open it and set it aside for now. On your Switch, open the homebrew menu via Title Takeover. This is when you hold R while opening a game. This gives homebrew apps access to more RAM. Navigate to NXDT, and you can start so it's moved to the front. From here, you can choose to back up the game card, user titles, which is cartridge updates, digital games, and DLC and system titles. There are multiple ways to back up your games. You can dump them to the Switch SD card, dump them to a USB hard drive, or straight to your computer via USB cable. A few disclaimers before moving on. If you're using a FAT32 SD card like I am, take note of this. The max file size is around 4 gigabytes for a file on a FAT32 SD card. If you're using a FAT32 SD card and place it in your computer, your dumped games that are over 4 gigabytes will be split into multiple files and you'll need to merge them after moving them to your computer. You can avoid the need to merge your game files if you back up to your computer via USB or by accessing the Switch SD card via the Atmosphere USB file transfer app. I'll go more in depth on this later. Next, physical games are dumped as XCI files, while digital titles, DLC, and update data are dumped as NSP files. XCI files are what you would use with the MIG switch and you can use them with Ryujinx as well. NSP files are what you would install to your Switch in MUMMC or Ryujinx. I'll back up a physical game, Persona 5 Royal, and then a digital game, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I'll be dumping Persona 5 Royal directly to my PC via USB, and I'll dump Mario Kart 8 Deluxe to my SD card. Let's begin with Persona. Select Game Card Menu and you'll have several dump options. If you're backing up your game for Ryujinx, you'll only need to dump the image XCI. At the bottom, you can swap your output storage. You can select the SD card, output to computer via USB, or to a USB stick, hard drive, or SD card adapter plugged into your switch. Leave the default options here unless you know what you're doing and want to change them. Plug your switch into your computer via USB-C cable. On your computer, enable all devices on Zadig. Find NXDTRW POC and select lib USBK for driver right over here. Click install driver. Wait a bit for it to finish up. 
and done. Now close Zadig and open NX Dump Tool Host and click Start Server. And it's time to dump the game. This may take a while depending on the file size of your game. Persona 5 Royal is about 14 gig. Persona 5 Royal is about 14 gigabytes, so this will take a bit. If for any reason you need to cancel the dumping process, hold B on your controller. Almost done. There we go. Persona 5 Royal has been backed up. Nice. Now if you're backing your games up for use with the MIG switch, dump the four files that aren't listed as optional. Initial data, certificate, ID set, and UID. I already dumped the XCI, so I just need to dump the remaining four files. And done. You can find the backed up files here in the NX Dump Tool folder. For use with the MIG switch, copy the name of Persona 5 Royal like this and make a new folder here. Paste the title of the game like this, and add .xci at the end. Move all five files into the folder. You can now move or copy this over to the MIGSwitch SD card and play the game from the flashcard. If you would like your own MIGSwitch flashcard, use the affiliate link for MIGSwitch United in the description too. Thank you. Now it's time to back up a digital game. On your Switch, Go back and select User Titles. Select your game. I'll be selecting Mario Credit Deluxe. Now this is where things change a little. Instead of dumping an XCI file, we're dumping an NSP. You can dump the base game, the update data, and the DLC as NSPs. For now, I'll just be backing up the base game. But you can also dump the update data and DLC if you'd like to use them with Ryujinx or install them to MUMMC. Leave the default settings alone. This time, I'll be dumping to the Switch SD card. Again, this may take a while depending on the size of your game. Give it some time. Now that it's done, you can move it to your computer. If your SD card is XFAT, then you're good to go from here, you're all done. If it's FAT32, as I mentioned earlier, usually files can't be bigger than 4 gigabytes. For the rest of this video, I'll show you how to move the dumped NSP from a FAT32 SD card. There are two ways to do this. The first way is quick and simple. Exit NX Dump Tool, and connect your Switch SD card to your computer via USB. This is built into the homebrew menu. Now, I just dumped Mario Kart 8 Deluxe to my FAT32 SD card, right? Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is well over 4 gigabytes. Open NXDT RW POC, and you'll see an NSP folder and a game card folder, if you dump the game cartridge to the SD card. Open NSP, and do you see? Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is here in its entirety. Dumped games appear to be automatically merged when accessing the SD card via the USB file transfer. I can move this to my desktop and there will be no need to manually merge the files. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Now time for the longer method. Being a little dramatic, it's not that much longer, <laughs> but there's another step in the process. If you would like to manually merge the files, I recommend NX Dump used by Oman Rod. It's a program for both Windows and Linux that allows you to merge split NSP or XCI files. Download the latest release for your OS, extract it, and open up the program. Insert your SD card into your computer. Under Input, find the first split XCI or NSP file and select it, as I'm doing here. Under Output, select where you'd like it to output the merged NSP or XCI. I'm going to create an NSP folder in an X Dump tool. Now click Fuse to start. And this may take a while, again, depending on the size of the game. And done. The merged game is here and ready for use. And that is all for the video. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more content. Shout out to my channel members, thank you very much for your support, and thank you, yes you, for watching until the end. On the left you'll see a playlist for my Switch modding tutorials, definitely recommend checking that out. And on the right, a video that YouTube recommends for you. 
Have a good day, good night, whatever time you're watching this, and God bless. See ya. Pax Christi.